One of the things I really love to do when I travel is not only freeze these moments, which shutter speed will help you do, but I also really like to show movement. Um, I think that this is something that a lot of times we forget to do when we're traveling, and yet it really adds a lot of interest and takes your image to the next level. And so the way you do this is with your shutter speed. And so for this shot right here, this is the same ride that I just captured them on, and then they were standing waiting their turn. And so you'll notice that the shutter speed is 1 30th of a second, so it's, it's slowed down a lot. And because of that, when you slow down your shutter speed, you're letting more light in. So you have to make up for that somewhere. And so I like to raise my aperture because when you raise your aperture number, you are bringing in less light. So as you lower your shutter speed, you bring in more light. When you raise your aperture, you bring in less light. So they're able to cancel each other out to get to that nice, uh, happy exposure triangle. And so this one I had 1 30th. Now, if you're wondering, okay, well, what is the setting then? What should your shutter speed be to show movement? There is no perfect shutter speed. It really depends on what you're photographing and how fast it's moving. And so this is shot at uh, Magic Kingdom on New Year's Eve. It was amazing. And the shutter speed is one tenth of a second. You'll notice that the f-stop, I didn't have to raise that number very high because it is already so dark, and so there's not a lot of light. This was not shot on a tripod. I don't know how I was able to get it sharp. I treated my body as a tripod. I locked my elbows. I took a breath, and then I took the shot, and I was able to get what I wanted because I wanted a little bit of movement in the fireworks. Uh, if I brought my tripod, obviously I would have slowed it down even more. It was very crowded. There would have been no place for me to set this up, but I still like how it came out. So you'll notice that the shutter speed is different on all of these images. So here's one. The shutter speed is 1 25th of a second. So when you're trying to figure it out, it is really just a matter of trial and error. And you're just holding your camera as still as you can because you still want what you want to be sharp in focus and just some movement. You don't actually want everything in the frame to have movement because then it just looks like your settings were off and that it's just a blurred image. You want your movement to be intentional and you want your viewer to be able to know that that's what you are going for. Here's a waterfall in Hawaii. Again, the shutter speed is 1 13th of a second. This one I did rest it on the rocks. I put my camera bag on the ground and then I rested my camera on the uh, camera bag on the rocks. Um, I do that because I knew that I wouldn't be able to get it as sharp as I wanted, especially because you can see there's people in this. And so they needed to be um, fairly sharp. But if there was also camera movement from me and movement with them and movement in the waterfall, it really would just lose itself. And so for this shot, I focused on the rescue surfboard. And then I lowered my shutter speed to 1 13th of a second. And I was able to get that movement with the waterfall.